now we go to the chapter 2 of the Ganotropy. Okay, in the first chapter, I talk about the macro system. So today we are going to officially uh, to introduce the various concepts of uh, this uh, Ganotropy. Now I am I am using this uh, PowerPoint, you know, to to do my presentation so that you may not see the video all the time, but I have put in the audio. Okay, you can observe the audio better that way, you know, uh, rather than just listen to me and do not see any wording. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to use this uh, PowerPoint for this presentation. In the first chapter, you know, we talk about the macro system. Uh, macro system are a system that you can observe with our five senses of seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and touching. Now, all systems that need to be examined under the microscope and tested in the laboratories are the micro uh, system. For example, the diseases. You need to do the blood test. You need to do so many uh, tests in the laboratory. They are micro system. Vitamin and also many these are chemical constituents, no? Okay, of the herbs and food are under the micro system. And many people they keep asking me, you know, what is the constituents? Uh, 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 Gadoderma. What type of chemical inside the Gadoderma? We are not interested in that, you know, because that is under the micro this uh, uh, system so we are more on the function of gadonoma okay the macro function of gadonoma is to detox the body to balance back the body so normally in genotropy we're talking about the macro function not the micro function of uh, of uh, products so in macro system we treat the body and we never treat the disease okay we consume the whole food we are not concerned with the micro ingredients like the vitamin and etc inside the food now we come to the chapter two of genotropy. Okay, in genotropy there are four principles. No, okay, we are going to discuss in details about these four principles. The first principle is that all diseases of health problem, whatever the problem that faced by our body, you know, is caused by two causes only: uh, the toxin and the balance imbalance of the body. Only two causes. Okay. Secondly, we treat the body. Then the body treat the disease. We never treat disease. No, this is the second rule. The third rule is that all reaction are caused by the body and not gadonoma. Uh, when people taking gadonoma, there are a lot of ailment reflection. There's all reactions. No, then they get worried. Do not get worried. You know, this do not cause by gadonoma. It is caused by the body. The fourth rule is that the dosage of gadonoma is depend on the condition of the body and not on the disease. Many people ask me, you know, okay, for for diabetes, how many uh, RGGL should we take? How many spirina should we take? You know, this is a wrong question, you know, because we do not treat disease. That's why our doses do not depend on the diseases, but on the condition of the body. Coming to rule one of genotropy, there are only two causes for any health problem. Before we start this uh, genotropy, you know, we always ask the audience, you know, can you think of any disease that is not caused by toxins or imbalance? Okay, so anything that we do not want in the body is toxin. When the body is not function as it should be, it is imbalance. Many people ask, uh, how about H HIV? HIV is caused by the virus, no? We just we doesn't want virus, so it is toxin in the uh, in the body. Okay, and there are many diseases that are caused by the bacteria. Uh, we doesn't want bacteria inside the body. It is a toxin. Okay, and uh, many problems nowadays is also caused by the contamination of the oil, of these are uh, air, water, and food. No, all these are, are toxins, and it causes a lot of problem in the in the body. And the second cause uh, is uh, imbalance. No, many people ask about. This uh, diabetes, uh, diabetes is uh, an imbalance of the sugar metabolism inside the body. Then this a uh, hypertension, also imbalance of the circulation. Okay, so many chronic diseases are due to imbalance of body function. Sometimes people ask me, how about injury? Someone make an accident and injury. So we say injury is due to the this uh, imbalance. The one the body is injured, it do not function as it is. So it's also under this uh, second category, the imbalance. Uh, let me tell you how we use this uh, theory, you know, uh, to sponsor some doctors. Uh, this thing happened uh, uh, in Indonesia in the early days of the accident. You know, Indonesia is uh, one of our first country that we enter into. So the times they they are asked a dozen of medical doctors supposed to come to see me. So we supposed to have one hour of genotherapy with them. But due to traffic jam, no, you see Jakarta traffic is very jam, no. They come very late. Uh, they say, hey, Doctor Lim, uh, sorry, we only give you 15 minutes, no. 
And for 15 minutes now, how are we going to talk about endotropy? But we still we manage, no? So for the first few minutes, though, I propose to them that all diseases are caused by toxin and imbalance of the body and ask them to refute it, you know. Then they talk about HIV, that is due to virus, that is, is a toxin, they talk about bacteria, they talk about the, the, the toxin inside the food, everything. Then also there's a diabetes, everything due to the imbalance of the body, everything. Uh, eventually, all agreed, you know, that, that uh, these are the two main... Uh, problem then i ask them you know you as a doctors know do you have any uh, medicines okay to detox the body and do you have anything to balance back the body you know <laughs> they're, they're laughing to me you know this they say many of our truck uh, 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 toxin by itself you know, how to how, how to detox the body it's not possible you know so the answer is no so i explain to them you know, in genotherapy you know we have rg to detox you now and gl to balance back and i give them many examples on that Okay, that take another few minutes now. Then for the last few minutes now, all of them sign up now. Okay, and in Indonesia, uh, we that time we have about four to five thousand doctors sign up with us. A lot of doctors signing up with us. When it come to the toxin, you know, there are only two types of toxin in the in the body. One is water soluble, one is non water soluble. Uh, this a water soluble normally detox through the sweats and urine. Okay, then uh, this non-water soluble, uh, sometimes they are oil, oil toxin, you know, or the mineral that the calcium uh, deposit inside the body, the calcium stone, okay, they are non-water soluble. So they normally they detox through this, uh, discharge in the skin, and sometimes through the boils and pimples, you no, know, uh, at the skin, and most of the, these uh, insoluble toxin, they also discharge through the stool. So for the water soluble toxin, it's discharged through the sweat, it's also discharged through the urine. Nah. So through the sweat, you know, sometimes the sweat becomes smelly, okay, and sometimes it becomes yellowish in color. You know. That is quite uh, common. So I can give you a few uh, testimony, you know, the yellow set testimony. So that time in Penang, uh, I go to Penang for genotherapy. So one night during the Q&A, so there's one uh, member, you know, you see, uh, Dr. Lima, uh, I like to play badminton, you know. So in our badminton, we divide into the white shirt team and yellow shirt team, you no. Know. I'm in the white shirt, uh, white t-shirt team. But after taking Gadonoma, you know, when I sweat, uh, my t-shirt becomes yellow, you no. Know. Okay, then, then, then I become the yellow team, you know. What happened to, what type of color do you put into your, your products, you no? Know, to, to make my sweat turn yellow. I told him no, our, our products are organic products. There is no yellow color. We do not put color into the the, the, the products. Then I asked him, what is your profession? He is a goldsmith in the section where they wash the gold. I say, how you wash the gold? So they, they use the acid, you know, to wash the gold. So the time there's a lot of film, there's a film come up. I asked him, do you wear any mask or not? He said, no, no, I'm not uh, 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 wearing any mask. So I told him, you know, that may be due to the toxin inside your body. Okay, this is a thing. So you should uh, continue to take. Uh, then he continued to take, you know. Uh, then after some time, the sweats become, everything become okay. Then he become much healthier, you know. So when I come to the second time of the genotherapy, he said that the, the sweat become okay now. And before that, he always feel very tired, you know, in the middle of the day. But he said, now I am not feeling tired anymore. Okay, it's very good, you know. Uh, this after the detox, normally the body feel good and light. Uh, that is uh, the effect. Then uh, another case is a very uh, funny, funny case. This one uh, roti canai uh, maker in Malaysia, we love roti canai, you know. It's a kind of frying bread, you no. Know. Uh, people probably it, it's, it's a kind of bread uh, uh, in in Malaysia. He told me, uh, Dr. Lim, after taking your products, you no, know, I have to close my shop for. Three days. I said, what happened to you? He said, I never sweat for the past 15 years now. Okay, but after taking Gadonoma, okay, I started to sweat like mad, you know. And the sweat is so smelly that all the customer in my in my uh, restaurant run away, you know. Even people from the from the neighbor also can smell it, you know. So I, I don't expect your product to make me smell good, but at least not this kind of smelly thing, you know. What have you put inside the products? I told him, you know, there's nothing wrong with the products now. What happened to you? Why you do not sweat for 15 years? Then he told me the story. 15 years ago, he is working in a farm. 
okay, in a farm. So one day he sprayed a chemical, you know. When he sprayed a chemical, that day is very, very hot, you know. So he do not wear the, the what they call the protective uh, wear. So he 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 it's he naked uh, uh, upper body, you know, very hot. Okay, so when the chemical touched the skin, uh, he became very sick. Then after that, he stopped the job, you know. And from that time on, he never sweats. So I think the, the, the toxin uh, have blocked the, the pores of the sweats, you know. He never sweats for 15 years. So when he do the roti channel, uh, it's so hot, you know, to the stop, he never sweats. So when taking this, uh, this uh, genonoma, you know, uh, when it started to sweat, uh, then it started to detox, you know, all the toxin coming from the body and it's extremely smelly, uh, this thing. So I told him, continue, continue to take, you know, this is a good thing, you know, uh, this is a good thing that because uh, it is uh, detox your, 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 your body. Then uh, after some time, uh, he come back again, he say, it's true, uh, the thing. Last time I have to sleep in the afternoon, you know. When I work this thing, so after that I have to sleep because I'm feeling really tired in the afternoon. But after this detox, no, after when I sweat the normal, I no longer need to sleep again. I feel good, you know. So that is a good testimony of uh, discharge through the sweats. Now urine even more common. Uh, many people after taking urine, they had a turbid uh, urine uh, in the you know, the urine turn turbid, smelly, and sometimes become oily also. Okay, then we have. Uh, we have two very funny uh, this uh, uh, testimony, you know. Last time in uh, Kedah State, there's one artist, a uh, very crazy artist, you no. Know. He loved blue color, you know. In his drawing, everything is blue. Okay, this thing. The tree is blue, the moon is blue, the heart is blue, the beautiful woman in the drawing also blue. When he take, get on the man, you know, the urine come out also blue. Because when he, he when he paints nah, the paints spread all over the body, sometimes he use the brush, he use the hand, he use the, he he's a very crazy this uh, uh artist. So so after taking Gerunoma, the thing the, the all the colour come out from the from the from the body, you know. Then we have a testimony of blue urine. Then another case is even more funny, you know, the rainbow urine you know. So when you take the the, the, <laughs> the the products now. First, the urine is reddish in color, okay, and then after orange, after the yellow, after the green color, blue color, you name it, you know, all the color of the urine one by one uh, uh, come out, you know. So I think our okay, kerma so is very uh, clever, you know, can sort out all the color. You say, what happened to you, Doctor Lim? Uh, I don't see any color in your products, no. Why all this uh, color is, is, is coming from me? So I asked him what's the problem. He said he's having this uh, joint pains now. Uh, he's taking this uh, taking this uh, pain killer. Okay, and the color of the pain killer he buy from uh, many pharmacy. You know, uh, after some time the pain killer no longer effective. He change this thing and come up with all sort of color for the past 16 years. So when he take geronoma, all these things discharge from the body. You know, then they get a rainbow urine. But of course, after he taking geronoma, he become much better. So his problem uh, is soft lah. at the end of the day. He don't have this problem anymore. Next is the non-water soluble uh, toxin. Okay, so the non-water soluble toxin normally are this uh, oil, uh, oil toxin or something the minerals, nah, this uh, thing. So that uh, it discharges through the skin. Uh, the skin become oily uh, and also something boils, no? boils and pimples on the skin. Okay. And uh, most of the things are discharged through the school, the 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 the, the, the stool. Okay, uh, when discharged through the stool, some people they experience uh, constipation. Some people they experience loose motion. You know, constipation is a detoxification in a small intestine, where they need to rub you know the wall of small intestine. The stool become hardened. Then in the colon, okay. It's a water, no, this is a waterly. It's just discharged uh, through the colon, then you have uh, you have this uh, loose motion. Okay, so both constipation and loose motion are due to detoxification. Then uh, I tell you uh, this uh, when car discharge through the skin, uh, there is one testimony you know of a boy with a with a big boys on the hand. So one day when I uh, go for this uh, genotherapy, there's one uh, lady's doctors no uh, he himself see himself the doctors. He say after Taking the 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 genoma, you know, my boys come up with a huge boys, you no, know, 
uh, at the hand. So he asked the boy to come. Okay, so so still to me, wow, it's very big boys. Okay, at the full, uh, at the near of the elbow of the uh, the full of the elbow, you no, know, big one, as big as the eggs, you no, know, uh, is ready, uh, and and this thing. You say what happened? What happened to me? What happened to the to the boy? So I asked him uh, for what is the problem for you to give the boy Ganonoma? He said my boy uh, last time very quiet, you know, very reserved. Okay, this thing that I want to 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 give this Ganonoma to him. But I saw the boy running here and there. Up and down. I said your boy is very active. He's running here and there. He's not quiet. Yeah, I said after taking Ganonoma, he became very active. You no, know, running here and there. But the boy is, is come out at the hand. I said this is a good sign, you know. Before that, the boy having a lot of toxins in the body. So now the toxin pull together in one area, it's going to distrust uh, what they call uh, uh, to the to this thing. Now you as a doctor, you can induce the pus, no, let the pus come out. Uh, then after that, they, they they remove the pus from the body, then everything become okay. The boy become active back, you know. So this is one testimony to distrust to the skin. Many people after taking coronoma, they have itchiness of the skin. They they, they feel there's some pimples. That this is a thing, you know. All these things are good sign. These are the distrust to the skin. Then they distrust to the stool. Oh, that one. So we have a lot of this uh, 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 testi testimony. One time, you know, I go for genotherapy. Uh, one uh, member telling me, you know, he said, after taking genotherapy, I have constipation, you know, for almost one week. I, I, I cannot uh, pass motion. But after one bit, the stool come out very long. No? It's a very long stool. And the stool is uh, orange in color. A bright orange in color. No? Okay, this is the thing. Then I say, then, then he said, why the color become orange? Then I asked him, what is your profession? So he's working in a textile. And he's in charge of the kind of sari, this uh, thing. Uh, 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 what color is uh, you're using to dye the, the, the cloth? And so sure enough, he, he is in charge of the orange color. He always dye the, the, the cloth in orange color. You know? That's why after taking Ganonoma, the stool come out. Uh, it's also orange in color. And before the stool come out, he has constipation for one week. That means this is discharged to the small intestine. Now, the next rule is we treat the body. We do not treat the disease. Okay, so this is an analogy to the warning lights uh, uh, at your car. So when you buy a car, okay, sometimes uh, there's something wrong with the car, no? So there are some warning lights. What are you going to do with the warning lights? You need to go to send the mechanic to repair the, the car so that the warning light will be disappearing. You cannot say as mechanic, you remove the, the light, or you know, the light is, uh, is uh, hurting my eye. I doesn't like it, you know. Remove the light for me. You cannot do that, no. So you have to repair the car. So when the car is okay, the light is gone. So the diseases, no, is that the warning system from the body. Something is wrong with the body, you know. You don't deal with the disease because it's just the sickness, no. These are the thing. So when the body is healthy, the sickness disappear, no. So in my first video, I tell you the testimony of the cancer. Uh, this this a thing this, the, in the Indian uh, the, the the wife uh, uh, this thing we ask them to forget about cancer no you 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 treat your body take mega dosage then the, everything become okay so we had a testimony from Singapore uh, the the young boy after graduated from the university having cancer we say forget about cancer okay then we also talking uh, then take get mega dosage everything also become okay so we have this uh, thalassemia problem we had a night blindness problem in uh, in uh, Pakistan it also been treated, you know, uh, 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 by this thing. It doesn't mean that we treat thalassemia, we treat night blindness. No, we treat the body. So when the body is in good condition, all these problems are disappeared. Coming to the third rule of this uh, genotherapy, you know, I mean, all reactions are caused by the body, not by genonoma. Many people, after they take genonoma, there is a lot of reactions, you no? Know? Okay. Then uh, this one we call it ailment reflections because it reflect the the problem inside the body. That's why uh, sometimes we take the geronoma, you know, it's also like checking, scanning your body, you know. You scan your body, then if there's anything wrong with the body, there is some reflections, uh, some reaction. But this reaction is not caused by geronoma, it's caused by this uh, the body. Uh, we give you uh, a few examples, you know. I'll give you a few testimony. One time when I'm having this uh, genotherapy, you know, during the Q&A, this young man, he come out to the stage, you know, 
then take out uh, uh, a comb, started to comb his hair. No? Then I'm thinking, oh, maybe these young men are very conscious about the, the what they call conscious about the outlook. You know, they say comb his hair, but it's no. After comb the hair, he showed the hair to me. He said, look, Doctor Lim, look at my comb. You know, there's some hair to eat. You know, after I taking the geronoma, you know, okay, I'm I am uh, uh, what they call my hair still dropping. You know, why why is it so? You know, then I asked him uh, when you uh, what they call. When you wake up in the morning, is the sole of your legs are painful? I say yes, are painful. Okay. Uh, do you have any waist pain? Uh, uh, some a little bit of waist pain. Okay, this is a thing. So I asked him to squat, no. Then I asked him to to, to to stand up quickly. Then he, with great difficulty, you know, he uh, uh, he stand up again. I mean, his knee is a uh, weak, you know. Okay. Then I told him, you have this a uh, kidney problem. Then he was shocked with his life, you no. Know. He said, hey, Dr. Lim, how do you know that I'm having kidney problem? I just go to the hospital, you know. After they check my body, they also saying that I'm having the kidney problem. Because when you, uh, uh, the hair started dropping, okay, in the morning when your leg is uh, having uh, pains uh, uh, at the sole of the leg, okay, so when you squat, it take you great difficulty to stand up. That is a kidney problem. So from this reaction, you know, we know that he is having uh, this uh, kidney problem. Then he asked me, what should we do now, Dr. Lim? I said, now, when you take geronoma, you have a reaction, that means uh, it's, it's uh, regulating your body, you know, keep on, continue. So he continued and he no need to go for dial dialysis. Okay. Then we also have another uh, a testimony. One lady, okay, after taking geronoma, started to cry, you know. Okay, he asked me, what, what happened to me, you know? Then I asked her, do you have any family problem or the work problem? Because sometimes people crying, you know, be due to get a you know? You may be quarrel with the husband or having some problem with the colleague. She said, no, no, my working environment is, is very good. My boss is very good to me. And I having a loving husband, I don't have the, this thing, you know? Okay, then I, I observe her breathing is very short, uh, very distinct. I say, you you are having problem with the lung. He said, hey, no, doctors, I just... Uh, Check, you know, I just check uh, uh, blood test. Doctor say I'm everything okay, you know. I say when you go for blood test, it's a general test, you no. Know. The doctor will not go into your lungs, go into the liver, go for, for this thing. You must go to check your lung. So the next day, he go to hospital and check the lung, you know. And immediately, you know, the, 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 the doctor retained her, okay, ask the husband to come. Then the, told the husband, you no. Know, Enemy, uh, this enemy. Uh, a lot of uh, water congestion inside the lung and very risky now. Have to do operation you know, to drain out the water. Okay, so that they sign the agreement and drain out the water. And in uh, in three to four days time, uh, they drain out a few liters of water. You now, quite a lot of water. Okay, and the doctor told them, you no, know, if you come late, you know, it can be very uh, uh, risky. You know, uh, this kind of problem. Okay, so that through this. Uh, testimony, we know that he is having a lung problem. Is that due to geronoma? No, it's not due to geronoma. It's, it's, it's the, the, what do you call, the body problem. So the associated testimony is a, a man who cried when even watching comedy, you know. There's one man, you know, very funny. You know. He said, Dr. Lima, I'm watching comedy, you know. It's such a joy, this thing. But I'm started crying, you know. The tears are coming out, you know. The same thing, you know. I'm telling him that you're having this a lung weakness, you know. Uh, then the tears will come out. This, uh, this, uh, this, this is the reaction. Okay. Then uh, of course uh, he, he asked me what to do. I said you continue to take, you know, continue to take the the product. It will be good for you. Okay. Now uh, this reactions, uh, we need a special uh, 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 many chapter, you know, to talk. Too many reactions uh, 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 deal with the organ system, you know. Like you see now the crying is due to the lung system. Okay, so these are the, uh, then they, they are emotional problem, uh, like this, uh, uh, what do you call, fail, something to do with the kidney system, sad, to do with the lung system, worry, to do with the stomach system, okay, angry, to do with your, your, your liver system, and uh, you feel happy for no reason, you know, <laughs> do not be too happy, that is the heart problem, we are going to do that, you know, uh, uh, in, in, in the later uh, chapter. Now we come to the fourth loop of this uh, again, therapy, the dosage. Uh, many people came out asking us, okay, when uh, this uh, diabetes, how many doses should we take? Uh, uh, what do you call, how many RG, how many GL, how many spirulina? All these are wrong questions, you know. But we do not treat disease. Okay, we treat the body. So when we treat the body, the body only have three conditions. Okay, first is the general condition. 
they're having problem but not too serious then normally we take 6 rg 6 gln to our spirina and spirina is also is a helping you know okay sometimes those people they do not have spirina they, they can even skip the spirina or you can even take uh, 6 spirina the spirina, spirina is not so critical but rg gl critical so you take 6 rg 6 gl and uh, 6 to 12 spirina Okay, then uh, when the problem is serious, then we go for half mega dosage, uh, 15 RG, 15 GL, then about 15 to 30 spirina. Like like now, these are many virus uh, in the market, the endemic of COVID-19 and everything. So we ask people to use uh, half mega dosage now uh, for the prevention. Okay, and this is also good to detox the body, you know. So we can take it for one month, two months, you know, to detox the body. Uh, thirdly is, the very serious problem very serious one you close your eye and go for this uh, mega mega dosage okay like this uh, rg 30 rg 30 gl and 60 spirina these are the these things then we also put all the rg gl into package of micro vg you know so one package of micro vg is equivalent to 30 gl and uh, 30 rg okay or we can put a 30 gram of mixed uh, mushroom powder we do have mushroom powder uh, this thing and as as i say spirina is uh, assisting uh, we put here 16 or if you feel that 16 too much you take 30 or so up to you okay not so critical okay but uh, 30 rg and 30 gl is a must for this uh, mega dosage so when those uh, this a uh, serious problem uh, like this uh, diabetes uh, this uh, cancer this uh, a lot of serious problem then we have to go for this uh, mega dosage so this is all about the dosage When come to dosage, no, sometimes some people can ask, no, from what, what age can we take the gadenoma? Is that anybody can take the the, the, the gadenoma? So we, we joke to them, no, from womb to tomb, you can take the gadenoma. From the pregnant baby, the newborn baby, okay, to the senior citizen, all can take gadenoma. Okay, then we divided the patient to three group, the adult, huh? okay, and uh, the the, the uh, what they call the adult huh? and the young uh, young man and also the child so for the adult after the age of 12 can take the full dosage okay for example 6 rg and 6 gl to maintenance of health then spirina also similar amount okay or double then 15 rg and 15 gl for half mega dosage and 30 rg and 30 gl for mega dosage then those between the age of 6 and 12 Normally, those in a secondary school are easy to remember. Easier. Take, take half the adult dosage. Okay, 3RG and 3GL for the normal health, 6RG and 6GL for half mega dosage, and 15RG and 15GL for mega dosage. For those below age of 6, no. Sometimes when the child are very small, we can mix into the milk, we can mix the drink for them, you know. Let me 1 or 2 RG and GL for normal problem, 3 RG and 3 GL for the serious problem, and 6 RG and 6 GL for the mega, so, mega dosage. So these are the general uh, dosage, you no, know, depend on the groups of people and the body condition. So now we are coming to the end of uh, chapter 2. Okay, we are talking about the four principles of this uh, uh, so please study it. Uh, please uh, uh, studying uh, through through this uh, video. Okay. Then uh, in a future video, of course, uh, we're going to expand all these things. There are many things. You no, know, to we are going to discuss about the body system. Okay. For example, the body we have uh, this uh, uh, liver system, the stomach system. Okay. Then the lung, kidney, heart system, and etc. We are going to study on that and also the reaction. Today we're talking about some reaction. Today just some introductory, you know. Then we go into the detailed discussion. Okay, so see you again uh, in the next few uh, chapter. Bye bye.